This video is brought to you by Shardmas Prime.net. Pre order your Shardmas Prime Legendary Collector t shirts at Shardmas Prime.net. <laughs> Son of a Boy Scout. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing my first comparison video that I've done in a very, very long time. I think the last time I did a comparison video may have been in 2009, something like that. But I'm comparing the Mafex Spider-Man Homecoming figure with the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man Homecoming figure. If you're trying to pick up either of these, you can get them at Big, 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 big. get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So in this video, I'm going to compare pricing, packaging, accessories, aesthetics, articulation, durability, and size. Now for price points go, I do have an ad deal with Big Bad Toy Store, so I'm just going to use them as a reference. I'm sure you could find different prices for either of them. And there is an SH Figure Arts version that does not come with the option action wall over here, but I'm using this one as an example because that's the one I have. So at BBTS, you can see uh, the Figure Arts is costing about a hundred bucks and then the Mafex is at $80. So you are spending more on the SH Figure Arts, however, you get this big wall over here, uh, which you don't get with the Mafex, and we're going to compare the other accessories and everything later on. As far as comparing packaging, I'm not too big on packaging. That's not a make or break deal for me, but hey, some people, they like to put their figures back in the package, maybe put it on a shelf and take a look at it. I think they both have really good looking packaging over here, but if I was going to give it to one of them, I would say SH Figure Arts is the winner. It's a bigger package. And I just like the design of the packaging just a little bit more. The Mafex is something that we've seen plenty of times before, but with this SH Figure Arts packaging, it just looks a little bit more nifty than most of the packaging that I see from SH Figure Arts. So as far as the packaging comparison goes, I'm giving the point over to SH Figure Arts. So here we have the SH Figure Arts accessories over here and the Mafex accessories right over there. Now again, there's a $20 difference between these, so it's kind of hard to gauge who's giving us more. One thing that really stands out to me is that we get only three different webs over here for the SH Figure Arts. As far as the Mafex goes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six different webbings. That's a big deal for me. As far as the hands go, uh, we do get seven pairs of interchangeable hands over here and seven interchangeable pairs of hands over here, but we get an added pair of interchangeable feet with this one uh, that I'm not showing off. So it's actually two pairs of feet. So seven interchangeable hands and then two different pairs of feet for the Mafex. Now uh, these, this guy does come with these magnetic hands and these magnetic feet and neither of them really work well for me. So they kind of lose some points as far as that goes uh, with the accessories. Uh, one thing that does bother me is I'm not a huge fan of the Tom Holland head sculpt on here. So that's not a big win. I do like the little mask head sculpt and even though I do prefer the wider open eyes on this one this one doesn't look bad right over here now with this guy I don't like the silver eyes and I'm gonna get into the aesthetics later on but one thing that does irritate me is swapping the eyes out for the SH figure arts I don't know it's just an added step of having to pop the head off and then swap the eyes out and use this little tool over here to do that we get a backpack with the figure arts where we don't get that with this one I don't really care for that neither do I really care too much for the cell phone even though it is fun adding that to your photography options you know if you want to get pictures of him uh, you know on the phone and everything but honestly for me Personally, I like having Spider-Man pose either web swinging or web shooting or doing something with the webs, plus the Mafex dynamic stand. I, I do love this stand. Now this stand over here is meant to just really work for the action wall over here. I wish they had a base that came with it so you didn't have to have the action wall going with it. So even though I do like the accessories a bit more on the Mafex figure, I do think they look better on the Mafex figure, I'm still going to give it to SH Figure Arts as far as the accessories go. From what I can remember, I just spent more more time taking photos of the SH Figure Arts figure. Now as far as aesthetics goes, and before I talk about the figures themselves, I do want to compare uh, the look of the webbings. Now this is the SH Figure Arts webbing, and here's the webbing that we got from Mafex. And I do feel like the Figure Arts webbing is just a little too thick, 
and a little bit too gloppy, uh, whereas the Mafex does have a little bit more of the stringy kind of look to it. And I do like that they gave a different texturing for the web line on the Mafex right over here. Uh, here's a web line one from the Figuarts, Arts, and it's pretty much the same as it was on the Thwipping one. So I do like the aesthetics more on the webbing for the Mafex figure. Now, looking at the two figures side by side like this, I just like the Mafex more. I'm just going to say it. I mean, it just looks cool cooler to me. It's much more vibrant in color, even though they're actually pretty similar, but this is a much more vibrant looking figure. Now, this guy is chopped up in ways that does bother me as well. Uh, right here on the upper thigh, I don't like that cut. It just looks a little bit strange when you have him vanilla posed like this. I can see though that the texturing is a little bit more prominent on this guy compared to the Mafex, but the Mafex still has the texturing over there. But in one area that SH Figure Arts fell short was the cobwebbing pattern stops on the hands, and that goes for all of the hands, whereas the Mafex, we do get the cobweb pattern with the paint added to it in the hands for sure. Another thing though is that I do like you can rotate the web shooter around to accommodate which hand or which pose you want to get the figure in. You cannot do that on the Mafex so I think that's worth noting because sometimes you might end up going like this and that doesn't make sense now because your web shooter doesn't line up with the rest of the web shooter on the palm. As far as the faces go or the masks, I do like how it looks on the Mafex more. I like this one just a bit more. I mentioned earlier the silver paint on the eyes. I don't like that as much. I think this guy has a little bit of a bigger head, which makes him just look a little bit younger and slightly more accurate to the Tom Holland look. Another thing I'm noticing right here is that the shutter right here on the lenses right there is a lot more prominently sculpted on the Mafex compared to the SH Figuarts. I mean, on the Figuarts, it's just barely there, but you could definitely see it on the Mafex. I also prefer how the cobwebbing pattern is going inward. It's sculpted in instead of protruding from the figure, whereas the cobwebbing pattern is raised and then this one is actually sunk in so yeah as far as aesthetics goes I, I do like the Mafex a lot more and I also think that they got a lot more accurate drony right over here right that doesn't look like drony yeah, that does not look like drony yeah that looks more like drony to me overall I just think the Mafex looks better right and as far as the tramp stamp goes because uh, yeah it's a lot wider and a lot more film accurate on the Mafex than it is on the SH Figuarts I think and to drive this point home even further, you could see on the inside of the joints of the Mafex, we get two different colors on those elbow joints. We get blue and red, whereas the figure arts, it's just red right there, and the consistency doesn't line up with the blue portion of the arm. So that's another detail I really like. And here's both Spider-Man Homecoming figures at their widest stance possible with both feet still flat on the floor. Rest in peace, Glenn Webb. I'm sure he would have loved both of these figures. But articulation is very important for both of these figures because that's one of the main reasons why a lot of us are picking them up is that we get that crazy articulation. And as you can see, the Mafex is dipping down just a little bit lower than the SH Figuarts right over here. And he's a little bit more comfortable. This guy is a bit more wobbly. Uh, he doesn't have as good elbow joint articulation as the Mafex does, so I feel like this guy is kind of like sitting in this pose a bit more comfortably than the SH Figuart. And the SH Figuart isn't 100% flat on the floor. Like when I push down on that foot right there, you can see that he's not totally flat. Uh, where I push down on this foot, he's not moving up at all. So you can see that this guy definitely has a wider stance like that. Now, one thing that we do get with the figure arts that I really like is that it is easier to get his legs up in these McFarlane-like broken hip poses. You know, getting his knee all the way up here, I mean, you could even get it all the way past like that. I think that is awesome, so you can get him holding his own foot and all that. I think that is great. Uh, you can do that with this one. It's just a little trickier to do. It's not as smooth of a move, and I can't really, I mean, I can get his knee up like this, but it gets a little further away from his body than it does on the SH Figuart. I don't know. You can get them both doing it, I guess. But I just found it easier to do with the SH Figuart figure. And you can move this belt piece up and down as you need to. Uh, one thing, though, that really bothers me is that the head joint does not move up as much as I would like it to on the Figuarts figure. You can see he's looking up that much. And you may think that's just fine, but looking at the 
Mafex figure, and I showed this in both of my reviews, which I should have cards up over here so you could see full reviews on both of these, but you can see that the Mafex figure is looking up more so than the SH Figure Arts figure. Also, uh, with the articulation at the elbow, you can see that this elbow will bend in just that much on the Figure Arts, whereas the Mafex over here, that bends in a bit closer, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah, so we get more elbow articulation with the Mafex figure in the elbows. And we get a little bit more of a bending forward motion with the Mafex than we do with the SH Figure Arts, as well as bending back. So yeah, I just think overall we get more and better articulation on the Mafex figure. So yeah, we get another point for Mafex. Now on to durability, if you'd seen my review of the SH Figure Arts figure right here, you would know that I did crack the ball joint on the shoulder of this figure. And just to show that again, uh, you can see the ball joint right over here, and you can see that is where it cracked. But luckily, Big Bad Toy Store sent me a replacement very quickly. Uh, the customer service at Big Bad Toy Store is amazing. Even before I had an ad deal with them, because uh, I would use my wife's account back in the day, and they were fantastic as far as getting replacements out and everything, even before you know me promoting them and all that. But anyway, uh, just to show how you can swap this out, I just have to pull this off at the elbow right there and then go ahead and put it on the new arm piece that they had sent me, and then you get a peg right inside here, and that just ports right in very nicely, and now it's back together. So, yeah, man, unfortunately, um, I'm gonna say that SH Figure Arts loses this one, because this one broke, and the Mafex did not. However, this guy does have some downsides. Uh, one thing I did notice is I had him posed for a while uh, with a leg up, and this piece right over here did get a bit warped inward, but just in about a day or so, uh, it went back to shape. So I think that's actually a pretty cool thing. And then another little detail is that this pin right over here for the toe joint seems to kind of slip out a little bit, but all I had to do was just push it right back in there. So with those being my two gripes as far as durability goes on the Mafex, the Mafex definitely wins it for durability. And our last category that we're looking at here is size. So measuring these two out, I mean, you could see them side by side. They are the same height. They both stand just a little over five and a half inches tall. I do like that we can make the Mafex a little bit taller, though, if we pull down these hip joints some. And we can get a little bit more height out of the Spider-Man figure doing that if you choose to do so. And that actually makes me really happy. Yeah, I mean, it's just by a little bit, but I think that does look a little better, even though the legs look a little bit weird because they're a little bit more gappy right over there at the hips. Then here's comparing these two import figures to some MCU Marvel Legends figures. Since Marvel Legends is one of my favorite toy lines, and you can see, I think the height difference between Captain America, and big thanks to you guys for making this custom Captain America possible, I love it, uh, but I like the height difference between these two. I do have to extend the legs on the Mafex, but yeah, I think that looks okay. I don't even mind the difference right here between Daredevil and this guy, but yeah, the SH Figure Arts just looks a little bit more petite. And not just in height, but look at the size of the head, uh, the width of the shoulders over here. It just looks like a much smaller figure, so I do like the size of the Mafex a bit more. I mean, even getting the Figure Arts out of the way over here, I mean, seeing that, I mean, yeah, I'm happy with that height difference. And then comparing the two import figures next to the Marvel Legends Tech Suit Spider-Man and the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man, uh, you can see that the Mafex is only just a little bit shorter than the Tech Suit Marvel Legend figure right over there, and I'm okay with that. That's alright. I do expect this guy to be a bit shorter than our average Spider-Man figure just because he is a bit younger. So definitely for the size category, I am giving it to the Mafex figure. So I am going to discount pricing as far as the tallies go, because we have six different categories. I'm not including price into one of those categories. We have packaging that goes to SH Figo Arts. Accessories, we gave it to SH Figo Arts. Aesthetics, articulation, durability, and size all went to Mafex. So four out of the six goes to Mafex, and you can see him struggling to climb the wall over here. Let me give you a hand, Spidey. <laughs> but I do like this Mafex figure a lot more. This may be my favorite Spider-Man figure. It may possibly beat the Hot Toys Amazing Spider-Man 
Spider-Man 2 Spidey figure. I just really like this one a lot. I have not been able to get it off the review station uh, just because I've been messing around with it. I love my Mafex stand. I do like the accessories a lot with this guy. I just felt like I had more going on with the SH Figure Arts. So even though I did give the point to SH Figure Arts, I still love the accessories that come with this Spider-Man figure. It's just easier to swap the heads out or swapping the different interchangeable faces. And I like the hands more. I like the webbing more. But I did like having the different options as far as the SH Figure Arts goes. But I'm curious to know if you guys still think that the SH Figure Arts is the better figure of the two. I did host a poll on the community page on my YouTube channel over here. And as you can see right here, the majority of you said that the SH Figure Arts Spidey was the better figure out of the two. I disagree with the majority of you guys and that's totally okay. It's all right to have a difference of opinion. We all can still be friends over here. But I'm curious to know if this video has actually changed your opinion in any kind of way. And if it didn't, that's totally okay as well. But what's not okay is if you didn't enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Again, let me know which one you think is better, the Mafex or the SH Figure Arts. Also, don't forget to pre-order your Shardmas Prime Legendary Collector t-shirts. They are available for pre-order. I just need 50 more pre-orders to go through so I can get them made ASAP. So if you're thinking about getting one, please act right now. And I gotta give a big thanks to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel. Big thanks to you guys. You guys do get a discount of 15% off if you pick up a Legendary Collector t-shirt. So check the Patreon page for the discount code over there. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as hitting the notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what the strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. That's crispy. Hey, I'm sure I Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.